Imagine walking into a factory and for a split second, you can't tell who's the human worker and who's the robot. Not because the robot looks like a person. No, Germany didn't build a metal actor with a silicone face, but because of how it moves, how it picks up tools, how it pays attention to what's happening around it, how it works. That's Agile One. And honestly, it might be the first humanoid that feels too human. So here's the story. A robotics company in Munich, Agile Robots, just rolled out their first full humanoid, and instead of jumping straight to hype, they built something factories actually need. This thing isn't here to dance flex or do backflips. Agile One is built to work, to handle the chaotic, noisy, unpredictable nature of real industrial floors. I'm talking about tasks that normally require human judgment. Gathering materials, loading machines, picking up tools, tightening bolts, moving parts across stations, the kind of stuff robots usually struggle with because factories are not neat and perfect. They're messy, cluttered, and constantly changing. But Agile One? It was trained in that chaos. The secret weapon is its hands. These aren't plastic claws or stiff fingers. They're some of the most advanced robot hands ever put on a humanoid. Every joint has force torque sensors. The fingertips feel pressure. The hands know when to grip softly and when to crank down with power. If you handed it a screwdriver, it wouldn't just hold it, it would use it. And the vision system? Let me put it this way, Agile One sees better than you do. Oversized boxes blocking its view? Doesn't matter. Low lighting? Still good. Fast moving parts? Tracks them easily. It has this almost eerie spatial awareness, like it's constantly reading the room, scanning for obstacles, noticing movement, and adjusting its path step by step just like a human weaving through co-workers on a busy shift. But the real twist is the brain behind all this. Agile One is trained on one of the largest real-world industrial datasets in Europe. Not simulations, not idealized lab environments, actual factory data. Real machines, real people, real mistakes, real noise. That feeds into what the company calls its layered AI system. One layer thinks ahead, planning tasks, another reacts instantly, avoiding accidents, another controls fine motor skills, like guiding those crazy, dexterous hands. Put all that together and you get a robot that doesn't just follow commands, it understands context, it notices patterns, it adapts. And here's something I didn't expect. Agile One is designed to look friendly on purpose. Bright colors, expressive eyes, proximity sensors, a chest display that shows what it's doing so workers don't get startled. It feels less like a machine and more like a helpful co-worker that never gets tired, never loses focus, and never needs a coffee break. And they're not stopping at a single robot. Agile One is part of a whole ecosystem. Robotic arms, dexterous grippers, mobile robots, automated vehicles all connected through their Agile Core software. The idea is wild, a factory where every robot learns from every other robot, making the whole system smarter over time. Production starts in 2026, and if this thing delivers even half of what it promises, factories worldwide may never look the same again. Germany didn't just build another humanoid robot, they built the first industrial co-worker that might actually keep up with humans, and in some tasks, even beat us. Whether that excites you or terrifies you, one thing's certain, Agile One is going to change everything.